Dear Morgan, by the time you're hearing this, I'll be in New York City and you'll be just about ready to start your freshman year of high school. Now I know I'm not that far away and I haven't been gone all that long, but I already miss you. My little sister, my best friend. I look back on my four years in high school and I see how much I've grown. How I grew from a self-loathing middle school masterpiece to the type of person I could have used as a role model when I was your age. The next four years of your life will teach you so much about who you are and who you have yet to become. So as I close that chapter of my life and start fresh in my favorite city, here are some of the most important things that I learned throughout my high school experience. First and foremost, you have to do what's right for you. Not what's right for your best friend, not what's right for your romantic partner, not what's right for anyone else besides yourself. You have to do what feels right in your heart and in your gut and in your mind. Now. That could mean pursuing the passion or hobby that makes your heart dance rather than which passion your mom would like you to pursue. Or it could mean something like choosing not to drink at a party even when everyone else is. You must put yourself first. No one can tell you what's right for you. You are in control of your own life. Do not feel guilty if what's right for someone else isn't right for you or vice versa. Don't judge yourself and your life based off of what someone else is doing or based off of what the movies tell you. That being said, learn to respect people whose choices don't align with your own. Second, messing up is okay. It's expected, actually. Do not let those mistakes define you. Do not let those mistakes push you down to the point where you can't get back up again. Pick yourself up and repair the broken parts. It is okay. I promise I'm practically the queen of messing up. Third, learn to forgive those around you. Do not harbor hatred in your heart for those that have done you or the ones you loved wrong. Accept people's apologies. Accept an apology even when it's not said. Forgiveness is everything. That being said, know when to put your foot down. Know when you deserve to be treated better. Know when enough is enough. It is completely 100% okay to kick toxic people out of your life. You must stand up for yourself. You must know what you deserve. Fourth. There is a difference between venting and gossiping. Venting is therapeutic, gossiping is harmful. Recognize the difference. Do not spend your time hurting others or surrounding yourself with people who hurt others. Fifth, you don't have to fit in to be happy. Take it from me, someone who's never felt like she's fit in. I always felt like an outsider in high school. I would drag myself to school football games because my friends wanted to go just to sit on the farthest bleacher in the back and watch while everyone else participated in chants and group photos that I just never felt a part of. But let me tell you, I was the happiest fucking outsider there ever was. I made friends wherever I went, I danced, I made people laugh, I stopped caring what anyone thought of me or about the labels that had been placed on me throughout high school. Happiness doesn't come from what you have, who you're with, or where you are. Happiness comes from perspective. Don't be afraid to change yours. Sixth, recovery is possible. You are not alone. You can do it. You can do anything. Do not give up on yourself. You must be your own biggest fan and your own biggest supporter sometimes. It gets better, I promise. Do not be afraid to ask for help or to have those kinds of tough conversations when you need them. There are so many people that care about you and want nothing but the best for you. Seventh, educate yourself on world issues. Stay current, stay up to date, check your privilege often. Know what's going on, form opinions, have intellectual conversations with your friends, do your best to make a positive impact on the world and community around you. You are never too young to make a change, so use your voice and use it loud. And lastly, your GPA doesn't define you. Although grades are important, they are not everything. Your ability to perform academically through unfair testing and essays while under the pressure of everything else under the sun does not reflect your true intelligence. I got into my dream school, and it definitely wasn't because of my GPA. There are other awesome things about you besides your GPA, so don't get discouraged if your GPA isn't exactly what you'd hoped it would be. Keep working hard. Don't lose sight of the prize. You can do this. Morgan, you're my better half. You're all the things I wish I was. You're 500 different kinds of beautiful and 1,000 different kinds of talented. You have so much potential, so go out and be wild. You are going to change the world. And if you ever need someone, you know I'll always be here. Only a phone call and a train ride away. I love you to the moon and back. 
Love always, your big sister, Maddie.